Jesus. Bye bye, Margaret. Oh. Hello, Margaret. Listen, haven't you got this silly nonsense out of your system yet? What's your Mr. Prakash doing today? What am I doing? <laughs> I'm fully embracing life as a single man. Leaving the seat up, eating from tins, running with scissors. Yes, the fuse box does still need looking at. But the garden as well. <laughs> Why don't you get lover boy to do it? No. Hold on. No. no need to get aerated. Margaret! Sort the garden now. Pah! <laughs> Hold on. Garden. The garden! Of course! Bloody fuse box. <laughs> to do before I'm 80. Number one, learn to ski. Number two, kiss Marilyn Monroe in the European way. And too late for that. Okay, please, okay. Number eight, do something adventurous. Take late and out driving. Yeah, why? I thought you didn't want to do it again after the last time. Nonsense! Your exact words were if you really want to finish me off, just send me to, to that, that Swiss, Swiss clinic. clinic yeah. Oh, I don't mind taking a boy out. <laughs> I thought we'd concentrate on the higher gears today. You make yourself at home. Yeah, well, I thought I'd get some of Mum's clothes before the moths do. Oh. You sure you're coping all right, Dad? Right as ninepence. Why? Shouldn't there be a door on this, Dad? It's dangerous. Ah, it's all right. Blimey, this tea's getting hotter. Is it all? You mean a bucket list? What? A bucket list. It's a list of things you want to do before you die. Yeah, that's exactly what... I'm checking the wing mirrors before I pull out. Oh, you don't bother with that. They just put that in to catch you out. It's like, you know, don't eat before you swim or stop when it's flashing amber. <laughs> Road and roll in. Come on. Indicate your muppet. Oh, Jesus. My own wife is 61 years, leaving me for a retired financial advisor who's bowled in and dazzled her with his peps and comprehensive range of vices. Still, who's said wouldn't be turned by 2.7% typical APR over a three-year period? And a quarter three, some. I'm going to do all the things I plan to do before I die. Left hand up by five minutes. I'm running out of time. Speed up. Maybe your grand leave in me was destiny, you know. Maybe it was to facilitate a calling, you know. To achieve no experience and experience. I've got my list. I've got a pen. Well, I had a pen. Today is a, a one-way smashing grab <laughs> of all the 
their hedonistic excesses this crazy world can offer. There you go. First exit. Chessington World of Adventures. Can't you just sort things out with Grant? Yeah, I'm planning to. And I shall be calm, reasonable and measured. I shall simply say... Stop! Too aggressive. No, stop! You missed a turning! Oh, you silly bold sod. Number five. Go on a roller coaster. It's a cake, this, isn't it? <laughs> Three, ride an elephant. He's a good boy. Come on, ride in on an elephant, that's it. <laughs> 48, see a gorilla up close. Yeah! 34, go down the zip wire. Oh, me cobblers. Geronimo! Geronimo! I'm not sure I like that very much. How's your boy band going then, Logan? It's not a boy band. It's dubstep. Oh. Do you want some of this, Grandad? Oh, no thanks. I tried some on the Palace Pier in 1963. It's like eating Barbara Cartland's minge. Let's fuck it up! Grandad. It's all right if you like everything, Jeffy. Here. Yeah. I've got a great idea for later. <laughs> Number 67, get a tattoo. That's it. Pretty artistic. Where have you been? A driving lesson. Boy, you ain't exactly a natural. Not many people can get three points on a provisional licence. Oi, Jensen Button, go and see if you can turn on the telly without stalling it. Look, Dad, you're a free spirit, within reason. I know. And I might go out tomorrow and all. Till nine o'clock! You can stay out as long as you like. I just thought there's stuff you could be doing here. Oh, yeah. I've got a new bag for life that needs breaking in and I did mark tomorrow to give herbal tea another try. Look, you could try clearing up here occasionally. I've been busy all day. Mr Muscles raised the white flag. And what is that stain? Well, it's a hard water area, isn't it? Oh, Dad. I feel sad about Mum too. Well, I can't compete with the razzle-dazzle of Watford's very own Gordon Cacko. Look, Dad, I hate to say this, but it's not all about his money, you know. Of course it is. What are you talking about? Mr Prakash gives her something. He does things for her that, you know, well, that you could never conjure up. Look, you're 82 years old. You're in a very vulnerable situation at the moment. And, well, I don't think you're coping that well. Nonsense! But why don't you come and stay with us for a bit? It's only me and Leighton and the cat and, well, I mean, there's plenty to eat. You can have a bath and watch a telly. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes. Well, what did I just say? Say about the cats and the television. See, I heard you. Aye? Yes, c come and stay with you, yeah? Why don't you come over tomorrow, yeah? We'll see how we go. You better be getting that lad home. <laughs> Been on the road all day. Mostly on the road, yeah. <laughs> Leighton, we're going! Leighton's going, Dad. Yeah. We'll see ourselves out, Dad! Come on, Barry! Jump in, mate! Dad! I've got to get the 